Let's move on. There's one more thing I want to just quickly bring up because uh, I really liked it. Yeah. Um, in in marketing, uh, so Mark Cuban has been on a, was on a little rant recently, and I just I just want to reiterate it because I really like it, and I totally agree with him on this. I don't agree with him on everything, but on this, uh, he's just he's just really took a shot at uh, the SEC and Gary Gensler, mm -hmm. and I I just I can't agree with this more about uh, so the way he. Um, I don't know the dates here, how he started this, but he really talked about how, the way he talk, says it is, this is how Gary Gensler and the SEC are trying to destroy the crypto industry. They make it impossible to comply with registration rules. And th it's so true. Like the reason why you see all of these companies sh showing up in Grand Cayman, all this stuff that happens not in America. I mean, you can sort of see that things are attached, but you know, legally they're just the detached and it's just added friction and cost and just to appease these guys. And more importantly, they're saving no one, like nobody. It's all after the fact people got hurt all after the fact things, a uh, blockchain itself is super transparent. When people make account, like all of this stuff is all the stuff where people are getting hurt or custodial, they, people have accounts. So it's not like the blockchain stuff's hurting people. It's the custodial part, and you, you know you can you can find out information on their platforms, and those people should be going through a very clear, very simple process. And he just he just really nails it on these on these tweets about the process to register securities, the process to uh, avoid litigation, um, and, and still make things open to America. Our users, Divi users, are constantly uh, being. Uh, seeing the bad end of this stick, uh, not you know, Americans not able to get to uh, KuCoin, uh, yeah. people not using BitTrue who are from New York or Texas or however it's working right now, all of this stuff. And I was just so happy to see him take a shot that way. And then not only that, point at an example of, an, of another country that did it right. And he's pointing at Japan who worked to protect crypto investors. Now, let's not conflate Japan's economy with the way they approach regulation. <laughs> yeah. their, their economy is sad for a number of other reasons. <laughs> uh, it has been for a while. But the, the ability to regulate crypto in a way that allows people, us, other projects to supply services, supply things that people want in America um, is there. I mean, it's been laid out in other countries. We could just do it, and and they've saved nobody. Anyway, he went on this big rant. I followed up with my rant just now. I just really like that. Fun, finally, somebody with some names is is really saying it. Yeah, well, that uh, that sort of closes off the segment. But I think I agree. It's it's uh, we definitely need some wisdom in the both the politics and the non governmental organizations that. Um, do control certain things, um, governmental and non-governmental alike, that can influence uh, what we can and cannot do, at least in the states. Um, I, think, I think that's I, a nice hope. I, I didn't see often much wisdom in governments, but, you know, we, we can always hope. Um, what we can see is <laughs> it's not only Gary, right? It's it's always the same. Like, who, who look who was the closest to regulators and... Um, basically, getting getting crypto um, in the like with the red carpet. Oh, yeah, it was SBF. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it's always the same, right? Um, the worst are always the one that are actually uh, welcomed, and then it's uh, it's the way yeah. the world works. So I th well, yeah. I, you know, again, we can kill this section as we go, but it's that's a sad statement. But that statement also hinges upon the way people want trust. SBF was embraced. Media people, that means famous influencers or sports figures embraced FTX. Yeah. But why did they embrace it? Because supposedly they did jump through all the hoops to provide the trust supposedly they did jump through different types of procedures and audits to do certain things they did do certain legal you know uh procedures to protect the client well the fact is is that i think they that just not. comes down to the statement about <laughs> government 
is yeah. we need, you know, I'm not going to get into politics too much because I'm pretty hardcore when it comes to politics. The fact is, is that we just, we just need wisdom and, and people that do things like what he did shouldn't get the types of punishment, in my opinion, that he did. I'm of the opinion he should have been punished far worse. They all oh, totally. should have been. There should I mean, the be hoops a that he day. ran through are yeah. we'll figure out which dinner party to go to. That's those exactly. are the hoops he went through. Yeah, you know, <laughs> not not a clear regulatory process, sure. uh, and which shouldn't have to be like the freaking FDA. Uh, you know, taking years to get through the process. It should be relatively simple. This is a very transparent thing. We're you know that we have here, um, and uh, like the, the process to get to allow us to build, develop, deploy uh, crypto assets should be very simple. It be simple, yeah. But it's it's not, and honestly, any hope that there'll be wisdom in government. Yeah.